We go light some candles tonight. Very special. Yes, I was checking my girl K. Michelle out. She was on the Wendy Williams show today. But anyway, um, Catfish was just on It's the Real Rasta Boy TV and It's the Real Rasta Boy on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all at the same time. Catfish just went off on MTV. You know, it's Catfish Tuesday. And oh my God, tonight's episode was none other than Dorian versus um, Jessica, whatever her name is. Um, it was a messy love triangle with Jessica. That's not her real name. Her real name was Alexis. Um, Dorian, who's some college kid in my opinion, basically how we, you know, present himself. And, um, Raffine, his girlfriend. Right? I love Nasty Messy Triangle. So I'm gonna break it down for you. So the episode started off where, you know, Dorian is trying to find this girl who's been talking to, you know, on the internet, um, for over two years, named Jessica, blah, 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 whatever the last name is. This girl, Jessica is um the usual don't want to do facetime don't want to do you know web chat blah 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 he's curious about this person because you know he searched for her before on the internet um and find that she has like four different pages obviously you know when he confronted her she's saying that you know that's not her you know this is the real her and she's using you know people are using her pictures how many times we all have heard that before? Oh, people are using our pictures. So many pictures, really? Well, it's not only just one picture or two pictures. It's like a bunch of pictures. But Neve and Max is always a, down to some digging. So Neve and Max was, you know, reach out to, you know, they're the producers of the show Catfish, you know, of the on MTV. And make sure that if y'all have not been checking out Tuesday nights at 10 p.m., MTV. Okay. So Jessica, come to find out, Jessica's been catfishing other people also with this fake profile. You know, when they reach out to other people that has been, you know, posting text messages of Jessica, they realize Jessica's been having a boyfriend or fooling this other guy that, you know, is claiming to be in love with Jessica also. Like, Jessica is a player also, but I'm not sure if, if it's the same Jessica that's fooling Durian or if it's a... Because if, if, there's so many profiles of this girl, Jessica, on, um, on the web, we can't really tell who is fooling who and who is caught up by this nasty mess. Anyway, um, you know, Neve reached out to the girl, um, Jessica, and let her know that, you know, he's a producer of the Catfish. He wants to meet up with her. Um, Dorian want to find out exactly who's this Jessica person because he knows it's not her. Or he thinks it's her, but he doesn't really want to get in his mind that, it, that she may not be real as the pictures that he's seen. But back up. He is in love or he's dating this girl, Raffine. Mark you now, I don't want to be coming off as no bitch or I'm um, you know, not keeping it real. But this girl, Raffine, is not giving me, you know, pretty glam. And that's what he may have seen in this girl, Jessica, on the internet. And thus maybe created this whole infatuation that he may have had for this girl that's beautiful, a bombshell, sex, you know, she's giving like a um, video vixen vibe girl, you know, ish for me. Well, to me that is. And that is why I'm thinking that this girl, um, this girl has such a big influence on him, even though he's saying that when he was going through his homeless situation, um, the girl um, really, you know, was there to listen to him and blah, blah, blah. But I'm thinking all about, it's all about imagery sometimes. When you see a sex, they say sex sells, and that girl is giving you all the sexy booby face, everything. But it's not even her. And I'm thinking he's caught up in a, in a, in a, in a, in a frame of mind that he's wanted, he's, he wants it to be her and, um, and hope it's going to be her. Anyway, long story short, he's dating this girl named Raffinet. And Raffinet ain't no bombshell. Raffinet ain't the prettiest, but she has heart... And she has been dealing with this guy, um, you know, Dorian, for a long time. And, you know, is really hurt by the fact that he's had this whole love situation going on with this girl, um, Jessica, on the internet. She is, she's allowing him to go meet this girl, but just let him know that when he comes back, she, not, she may not be here. And she's, she has all right to do that because how can you put your heart in somebody and then he's kind of in love with somebody virtually or what you want to call it, um, and then 
if he does not want her, then she's gonna he's gonna come back running to you, and he possibly may run off and be with this person who he's been talking to on the internet for some time now. Anyway, they met up with the girl. The girl is not Jessica, but the girl is Alexis. She's not ugly at all. I'm going to give her her props. She's pretty and look way better than his current girlfriend, Raffinette. I'm like, Jessica, Alexis, whatever your name is, why the F you want to catfit somebody? Her, her reason was, she said that um, five years ago, she moved to the area. She created this fake profile to meet people because she was new to the area. Girl, you don't need to make no fake profile trying to meet no damn body. Be who you are and represent who you are as yourself as at all times. You don't need to be faking it to 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 make to make friends or you know boyfriends. Girl, you are not ugly and you know it in any shape or form, even fat. Anyway, long story short, um, you know, Dorian was all like, you know, why did you lie? You know, ask her about this child that she, she had. She said she had a daughter and she was a single parent. She don't have no damn daughter. The daughter was her AKA niece, somebody who was always around her. And she pretended like, you know, play on Dorian's emotion, basically. Dorian was all taken aback. He needs some time to taking it all in. He went to this hotel, talked with Neve and Max. Um, wanted to meet up with her the next day to, you know, finally let her try to explain why she's doing all of this. <laughs> next day when he meet up with Jessica, sorry, let me call her her real name, Alexis, she's gonna act like Dorian did something wrong trying to play reverse psychology. If y'all don't know what reverse psychology is, reverse psychology is when somebody try to turn back something that they did wrong back on you to make you look like the bad person. Like say you, um, say you found five dollars in a laundromat and you took it and didn't leave it there, but then when somebody said, why did you take it, you said, what would you have done? Would you have taken it yourself? And then you may have said, no, I wouldn't. But in your mind, you're thinking that you would have done the same thing yourself. So this girl, Alexis, is trying to confront um, Dorian, saying about, why did you not tell me that you had a girlfriend? Why? <laughs> I was laughing off my ass. I'm like, you're really going to go there, Alexis? Trying to say that um, Dorian should have told you that he had a girlfriend that he was serious with all this time. So that I guess you wouldn't invest your time in your your time that you are investing in this so-called relationship that you are faking to be. You were not even being yourself for one, and you you you're for real. You're for real, girl. Are you for real? You are faking to be someone else, but then you want to be mad at the person that was being real all the time, being himself, showing you who he was, and then you want to be mad. That's not right, girl. You are so wrong for that, Miss Alexis. But anyway, long story short, he went on um, to learn on this is not going to work. He doesn't want to pursue a relationship with her, which he should not. Why be in a, in a relationship with somebody who's lied to you all this time, who's not ugly? And um, how can you build a relationship with somebody that is not even in the same city and state as you are? But anyway, um, he's moved on. He call up Raffiné, let him know that, let her know that he wants to be, um, um, he chose her, and hopefully that when she, he returns home that they can work it out, um, so it all become to be nice ending, um, for, um, Raffiné, where she was chosen to be the person that he wants to continue to date and spend his time with, so, but, um, Raphine ain't gonna let it, you know, be so easy for him. She's gonna let him know that he's gonna take some time and he needs to prove himself, which he should. He should. But it's all some love triangle, young stuff, young people stuff, because I think Doran is no more than 22, and they're all saying that they're all college kids to me. But love is love, um, fake is fake. Being dumb is dumb, no matter how you take it. Um, Doran was pursuing somebody because of in my opinion, off of, you know, imagery, sexuality, and, um, um, you know, and Alexis pursued him with this fake imagery, fake pers persona, um, hoping that, you know, she could find 
loving somebody that she didn't even know. Um, and then Raffin was just caught in the middle of a dumbass, messy situation. Well, I'm glad everybody is, you know, you know, not so traumatically distorted by this whole messiness. And Raffin and, you know, Dorian is now together. And um, Alexis has moved on and said she shut down the Jessica, whatever last name it was, um, Facebook page and all that mess. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep on watching um, MTV um, Axe Catfish um, after show right now. And y'all can keep on tweeting me at The Real Rasta Boy and Facebook, same name, and Instagram are the same name. Please make sure y'all leave y'all comments on what y'all thought about tonight's episode. And I'll try to get the entire episode to post on my blog tomorrow, therealrastaboy.blogspot.com. Thank y'all so much for watching, and y'all have a good night. Peace.